Hello, I'm Dina Goth here, and welcome to my coding crib. I'm excited to show you where my coding magic happens. Come in and I'll take you for a tour around the office. So this she shed came out of necessity, if you will, and an ingenious plan by my husband. Uh, I have worked remotely for 10 or 11 years, always having a designated space in my house. When we had um, some, again, internet connection issues and kind of at that time in our life where we decided to downsize from a home, we moved to camp. Well, camp has 600 square feet and really didn't have the real estate to afford me to take up some of that with office space. So we had this outbuilding that was constructed by our local uh, community college uh, that he had purchased some years prior and with the intention of building a bunkhouse. Um, situations as they were, we decided it would be better suited as my office, so here I am. Um, don't need a lot of space. The shed itself is eight by 10, of which I use approximately a third of it. Um, we constructed a desk out of the same material as the flooring, just to make sure that it was sturdy enough to handle everything. That is a sit stand workstation. I do prefer my three screens, especially the one that is vertical so that I am able to uh, work on spreadsheets and things um, of that nature. The, as I showed you earlier, that is all the equipment for the cell phone booster. And there is my landline phone. I have, my, my husband constructed this bookshelf. I work exclusively in the anesthesia industry. This just made it easier for me to keep all of the manuals that I use most often at my fingertips, ICD-10, CPT, and the anesthesia manuals. I keep hick picks and the CPT coding changes in the background just so I have them at the ready. All of my other references are built on a bookshelf up above. I have some of my favorites that are more comprehensive to anything in the industry on one side. And then as we go across, most that are dealing with cardiac. And then I have all of the prior years as this is my 14th year coding. Um, I, have, I have a hard time getting rid of some of those older manuals. One of the other things that I'd like to share with you is under, underneath my desk is my electric heater. It's strategically placed. It keeps me plenty warm on the cold main days. Um, having it underneath the desk, instead of heating the whole office, it's heating uh, me, my body, my feet, and, and that's plenty adequate. Also underneath the desk, we have a bank of eight electrical outlets, not only to accommodate all of the things that I need throughout the day, but also in the event of power outages, um, it's connected to a battery backup, which is connected to solar. We do have some experience in off-grid living, although we're not doing that current currently. It's just a means to make sure that I have functionality throughout the day. Not necessarily for internet because that's dependent on the power, but I can always then switch to a hotspot uh, connection and still be able to maintain all three of my monitors instead of just my laptop with the battery. As I said, I only use about a third. So in the middle, I do have some of my uh, personal memorabilia, photos of my kids, things of my travels, all of my previous um, magazines from AAPC and my outdated retro chic stereo that I just cannot seem to part with because it has a turntable. As I mentioned before, we had originally intended to make this a bunkhouse. I, I do have um, a, a comfortable spot, if you will, a couch where it, you know I can just take a break from the desk if I need to. 
I have my uh, certificates that that I keep on the wall in addition to and hopefully some space for more. I do have um, AC. I keep it as a floor unit and just pop it out the window when I need to. Don't really need to that often right now, just a few times a year. So really didn't want to incorporate a designated space for that. And then above that, if you notice, I have my blazer and my uh, jewelry, just in case there's a meeting where I have to be camera ready and I may have forgotten uh, to, to dress that way. I've always got that ready for, my, for myself. Um, you'll notice the green up above and you may have noticed back here, I have the ring light and microphone. Every once in a while, I, I, I do some uh, recordings and just have that uh, green screen camera ready when, when needed, but out of the way. So it's just hung on the ceiling with a couple of hooks and it swings down when needed. That's it for inside. Now let me take you back outside so I can share my break room with you. I like things that are old fashioned and the sound of that screen door every time I go in and out is just something that, again, just brings me a lot of joy and, and things. Um, but this is where we live. This is the end of the lake where the lake and the brook meet. So we have a lot of bird families that come to raise their family. We had about 30 geese here this year, some heron, blue heron, ducks of course um, and and other wildlife so it's just a perfect spot in my opinion to get some coating done and that's it thank you for letting me share my space with you i hope it inspires you to make a great coating space for yourself